Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Gemini, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. As well, uh, Gemini, if you do enjoy this tarot reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, because it does help me out a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys do that extra step for me. Uh, but remember, Gemini, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe my tarot cards, my weekly horoscopes, are just here to give you some food for thought for the day, a perspective to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision in your life, because it's your life to live, Gemini, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's just jump into your reading now. So I want to see right now for you, Gemini, where it is your headspace is at. What is going on for y'all currently on your path, right? What's the tea going on for you, Gemini? Because I know you guys have been have, going through a pretty rough patch. So I'm going to see if you come... <laughs> Ten of air. I'm pretty sure you guys got this card last week. Ten of swords. Oh my gosh, Gemini. But it's a good thing. Uh, it's I'm only acting in this way, Gemini, just because it's showing to me that you guys are still going through a little bit of a, a personal battle of some sort. You guys are still dealing with like the remnants of some type of pain or disappointment, I feel. Um, so that's why it bums me out. But um, the Ten of Swords brings in a beautiful message, right? Let's read it off. Uh, this card says the end of a difficult situation, uh, embracing the change and expect things to get better now. Come on now, Gemini. Uh, recovering from an addiction. Yeah, it does just overall feel like, Gemini, that you guys are just in this recovery period. You guys are in this place of... Um, seeing someone like licking their wounds the sun card in the reverse came flying out so i do feel like for a lot of you gemini's um you're trying to actively still get yourself out of some type of depression i do just feel strongly in that something disappointed you something or someone disappointed you in gemini and it's i feel like it's given it's kind of like shaken um just kind of like shaking you to your core a little bit. I don't know. It's a weird feeling that I'm getting. It's interesting though. So yeah, let's get some clarifiers on this though with this 10 of air. We have the queen of swords in the reverse coming out for you as well as the six of wands coming in. See, you yeah, still good messages, darling. Uh, we have the temperance card in the reverse for you. And then we have the five of swords coming in in the upright for you, Gemini. So, all right, here's the thing, Gemini. Um, I don't want to even sit on this energy because spirit doesn't seem like it wants to sit on this energy too much. We're going to touch on this one last time with this Ten of Swords, whatever situation that you, has disappointed you, has bothered you. Um, I'm noticing as well the, Arch the wheel card Archangel Michael is trying to come forward to you. And I feel like Michael came in last week for you. Um, but I'm going to now use the reference with the wheel now uh, since he's trying to show up. Um, I do get this sense, Gemini, that, you know, some disappointment happened. Something in your life disappointed you and, you know, it sucks. But it definitely does feel essential for you to get the wheels turning. Uh, Gemini, it bums me out because I know for like the, for several months now, for those Geminis that have been tuning into my readings, you guys have just been going like after hurdle after hurdle. Sometimes you would have to repeat the same hurdle a couple of times. Nothing wrong with that, right? But it just shows to me just a lot of struggle that you guys are going through, Gemini. And so I do feel like at this time, Spirit's just like, okay, this has happened. Um, ten, tens always associates the closures of things, closures of cycles and all that. And just with the message of the Ten of Swords that we were talking about on the card, darling, um, it just hones in on this, does it not? And so I feel like we have to just like keep it moving, right? Uh, the cards are not setting into this energy either. I feel like it's one of those things being like, you know what, Gemini? Yes, you had this hard time. Now we get into this Queen of Swords energy in the reverse for you. Queen of Swords in the reverse is all about um, letting your guard down. 
um, allowing people and things into your life and just, yeah, things into your life that you normally would be extremely on guard about. Normally, maybe this is for my Geminis that feel like they have to be involved in every single detail and they can't just like allow themselves to relax even. They can't allow themselves to let go. Um, I do feel as if, Gemini, your best response this week is to allow yourself to be uh, a little bit more vulnerable too. I even told Libra the same message, Gemini. I feel like there's a sense of you needing to just be be okay with receiving help and don't feel shame about receiving help. Don't feel shame about even saying that you want help or that you're having a little bit of a struggle, right? I do feel as if, um, especially with the Six of Wands coming in with this Temperance card in the reverse and this Five of Swords, there's some sense of... Um, for this Gemini, there's just this very strong sense of where I do feel as if like with this Five of Swords energy, it's a situ this, this is the situation that's disappointed you. And this Temperance card has put it in this sense of where I can't help but feel like it's just like an overall just like imbalance. Like I feel like something has just really impacted your mood every single day. Like some disappointment happened and now it's bleeding. Like that disappointment is now bleeding into other facets of your life. And I feel like this is just more so a time of just like allowing other energies in, allowing other energies in, just because I feel like it's really important for you guys to have a cleansing experience. Um, I know this sounds corny, uh, Gemini, but I do feel as if it, you need like some good experiences being around some good people. Um, you know, reminding yourself that there are good people in the world. It's a weird message to have come forward, don't you think, Gemini? But it's true. I do feel as if you guys kind of need this reminder that it's just like not all people are bad. Some people disappoint you, but you know, that's life. What are the chances? How many humans are there in this world? Chances of someone disappointing you are pretty high, darling. So let's get a little bit more detail on this. Three of Wands coming in for you. We have the Five of Cups in the reverse. You don't want to move on from this situation, though, Gemini. There's always just been something you've been clinging on to that you haven't wanted to move on from. Nine of Pentacles coming in under this Temperance. And then the Moon card in the reverse to you. So, hmm. Gemini... I feel as if with this Three of Wands, you're going to, because this is keep in mind under your, oops, honey, I just hit my whole tripod, darling. Um, under this Queen of Cups, rather, I don't know why I was calling, I feel like I was calling this the Queen of Swords. Um, with this Queen of Cups in the reverse, um, I feel as if, It just feels very much so strongly in that you almost are just wanting to shut down, shutting off from love, shutting off from just people in general because of a Five of Cups situation that you're holding out on. It does just feel strong. <laughs> this is turning into just another like uh, heavy reading, don't you think, Gemini? I mean, it's, the, 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 hey, it's the energy y'all are going through. Y'all are going through your coat. Like right now, it feels like I just have been tapping into the grieving process for a Gemini on something. Um, something that they've really been clinging on to, th Nine of Pentacles. This is really almost, some of you guys, I feel like some of you Geminis are like even questioning your beliefs, questioning what it is that you've been putting energy into, you know, is I'm just hearing a Gemini just constantly repeat themselves and asking us like, is this even real? Was this even real? Am I crazy? Right? Nine of Pentacles, yeah. Um, and I even, and thinking back, I think I even had one of your, uh, readings, Weekly Horoscopes titled Gemini of where I said that you are not crazy, right? You constantly just needed this reassurance because I just feel like, yeah, it feels like you guys just, the environment that you guys are in, something around you guys is just like, it feels like the best thing that you guys could have in your life right now, Gemini, is just a completely clean slate, darling. The moon card coming in in the reverse, coming in under your five of swords. Is some disappointment, does something disappoint? It's it's interesting how I just kind of keep on hearing disappointment. Uh, Gemini, do you guys end up shooting your shot with something that ends up being like a disappointment? Again, like repetitive, you know, maybe have some of you Gemini's been double texting somebody, triple texting, darling, because that's what I'm seeing is just like triple texting energy, where it's just like repeatedness of like giving something a chance or opening up to something and it just leads to more disappointment. 
um, in whatever way that looks like to you. And so it makes, I know for a fact now that I'm thinking back on what I was saying before about that Queen of Cups energy, Gemini, now it's like making sense as to why I feel like a lot of you guys are probably going to be a little bit more resistant towards um, doing what I was suggesting or just allowing yourself to be more vulnerable because it does feel like at this time, um, part of the reason why you're in this I don't want to say fragile because I don't feel like Gemini's are fragile, but why you're in this emotionally sensitive space, headspace that you're in, Gemini, um, I do just get the sense that you need to like let down your guard and allow the people that are like good people that are around you to connect with you because it does feel as if I'm tapping into a Gemini who's starting to just lose faith and like sounds dramatic, darling, but it does feel like you're losing faith in a little bit of humanity, which is a bummer, right? So I want to get into some good things for my Geminis, right? Before we get into anything else, let's get into the good things. Knight of Pentacles coming in. You guys definitely had this card as well uh, last week, Gemini. This card says, time to buckle down and getting things done, honoring your commitments and guardian angel, darling. So let's get a couple more cards to clarify this as well. This is a card of just like something... <laughs> You know, I know this might be annoying to some of you Geminis, especially since I saw that some of you guys are in that Temperance card in the reverse, so it's impatient, Sterling. But, um, you do, like, the Knight of Pentacles is a really good card to have, because it's like, stability is coming forward towards you. But the downside of it is the Knight of Pentacles is also the slowest moving, uh, one as well. <clears throat> so, Three of Wands coming in here. I didn't even show you these cards, did I? Three of Wands coming in with in the reverse, paired with the Strength card in the reverse, with the Four of Swords. Yeah, Gemini, straight up, let me be honest with you, the, fur, the quicker you are able to put down your guard and allow yourself to exude a little bit more vulnerability, I feel like the quicker this Knight of Pentacles energy is going to start coming into your life. I do feel as if, truthfully, uh, Gemini, that there is more, st like, there's a little bit more... Whatever the pentacle is for you, whatever st that stability the knight is bringing to you, I feel like you have plenty of op. Well, I don't want to say plenty of options. I do feel like you have other options, uh, Gemini, of being able to get a little bit more stability from your current like situation, from your current environment. Like I am hearing, like all is not truly lost. I do feel as if there is like this resistance, Gemini. If you, I don't know why. It just feels like you guys don't want to reach out to something you don't want to reach out to just people around you or what have you it's weird temperance card coming in the reverse no this is not the temperance card the hierophant coming in the reverse rather for you do you not trust the connection there's gemini okay so there's gonna be like a storyline so notice we kept on getting like the disappointment cards um and i keep on feeling like something disappointed you in your current space um was there like like a deep connection that you had in your life and i say had but i feel like it's still around existing um there's like because the hierophant represents like higher commitments um but when it's in the reverse it kind of just is like something coming to shambles right and where i do feel like there's this sense of like distrust now with this um yeah the hermit you're in this hermiting phase it feels like yeah it feels like something in your personal life disappointed you now you don't know if you can trust like it's very much so this sense of you don't know if you can trust anything again or if it's worth trusting or if it's even worth experiencing or exuding faith or hope into anything because it does feel like something is just really um it just feels like you took a pretty heavy blow in the way of like whether it's you having faith or confidence in something you really thought something was going to work out in a different way i feel and because it didn't it really shook you to your core four of cups coming in here yeah gemini there is a sense of something that you hmm. it's a bummer but i really want to hone back in on this knight of pentacles of where gemini i feel like the biggest thing you can do right now is try to be a little find something like find a way to exude a little bit more 
but like exuding more vulnerability where you are asking for help because i feel like help is like help can come to you if you just have to be the one you know this phrase saying like closed mouths don't get fed right so if you keep silence to this pain keep silence to what it is that you're experiencing and what it is that you're feeling you're never going to get closure on the situation it's never going to improve well i don't want to say it's never going to improve but i feel as if if you were to open your mouth uh gemini then you would actually be fed right even if you tell yourself that every other time that you've opened your mouth before and you haven't been fed well try again so let's get into your um love and just relationships in general your social relationships gemini because we have more than just romantic we have platonic ones we have friendships family work co-workers you know all that what's going on for you gemini the star card coming in here for you that's nice uh this card says happy times uh make positive optimistic long-term plans and being on the right path this is a plot twist of a card to be pulling don't you think uh so gemini let's get into this a little bit deeper you are on the right path in terms of your social life but what can we get from this you know i feel like there's a purpose as to why you're getting this affirmation gemini Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, you, mm. Queen of Pentacles in the upright. So, Gemini, here's the thing. It does definitely feel like some type of relationship in your life disappointed you. Um, definitely, maybe you thought you had, like, definitely I'm getting this sense, strong, very strong sense, Gemini. You thought someone was, like, your soulmate or your twin flame. This is very much so a casebook, uh, textbook situation where someone really thought someone was, like, a soulmate. Or, and the, here's the thing, I just want to say, uh, you know, depending on your belief systems of soulmates and all that, right, it's whatever. But just because someone's a soulmate, Gemini, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be part of your life forever, right? Their soulmates are there to teach you something as well. And soulmates are not just there to give you like those fairy tale uh, endings where it's just nothing but happiness. You and twin flame. Like, none of this is like these. The 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 misconception as if like these connections are supposed to always just be nothing but bubbly and sunshine. It's not the case. Um, but it does feel like there's some type of dynamic in your life that really put a lot of like it just puts you in this place of really questioning everything gemini i feel like you're just questioning everything about your life now um and the decisions you make and the beliefs you have and the people you allow in your life and just just everything honey uh you're questioning everything and it's just ugh. yeah now it's i do get this strong sense that you no longer want to open up to things but now you're just getting this affirmation and being like no you're not crazy gemini what you felt was real it just may not have been for as long as you thought it was going to be for right um take that as you will though gemini right i'm sure i'm gonna step on some toes with that comment but it's okay uh, so now let's see what's going on for your financial and career situation this week gemini let's see what's going on there All right, the lover's card, your card, Gemini, I'm trying to come forward to you. I also want to make note, both Raphael and Jophiel are two archangels reaching out to you this week. So if you're open to connecting with archangels, if your practices allow that, Gemini, these archangels are the ones reaching out to you. Uh, as well, I want to say for numerology, you have eight for that one, six, and then that would be five for numerology in total. So write down the number five to look up later. Anyways, this lover card says, intimate relationships, carefully weighing your decisions and good health. So this talks about a decision, but I really want to hone in on this message, Gemini, of where it's like uh, intimate relationships. I really do feel like um, you, there's just... I do feel like there's a connection that is just here that could really is just here to help uh gemini and do you feel like there's a strong connection here that's here to help but for whatever reason you're not able to receive this help right whether this is because you're just on guard and don't want to allow new energies in whether it's because just the idea of opening up and trying like i don't know whatever that disappointment was it really took a blow on me didn't it gemini eight of pentacles coming in this is a card of going back to school <clears throat> ten of wands in the reverse and eight of cups coming in here 
So this is speaking heavily on my Geminis that are having this very strong direction or this desire to move on to something new. This is speaking in terms of someone's job or situation. There's sometimes something in their work life uh, at the very least that is just weighing heavy on them. And there's this strong desire to just drop the Ten of Wands baggage because I feel like this Ten of Wands here is like the bag or the workload that you're currently carrying with something. And with this Eight of Pentacles here, following with the Eight of Cups here, you have this, this strong desire to go into a new direction with your career in terms of making money. So for my Geminis that are looking for insight on if there's like a potential project, um, if for those rather, I'm trying to say, that have been entertaining the idea of trying to dabble into new streams of revenue, um, doing something completely different, taking this as a sign of definitely try it out, right? If you are getting this uh, desire of changing majors, this is definitely my, this is more so honing in on my Geminis that are having a very strong desire in quitting what it is that they're actively doing. Because I do feel like you're already actively doing it. And that's why those 10 of wands are there weighing you down. I feel like you just want to drop the workload and be like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm going into a new direction. And I feel like that's just for my, speaking more so for my Geminis that are trying, that are in this situation right maybe you're being overworked is what i'm seeing uh maybe underpaid you know just the usual kind of like stuff that when you deal with a toxic work life but um yeah that is the reading that i have for you this week gemini if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this reading as well i do weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs not just yours gemini so if you have a friend that's into tarot send them one of my videos and maybe we'll find a tarot message that resonates with them if you're looking to book a private reading with me gemini it's on my website simplyvelka.com i always link it down below along with my social medias tiktok twitter instagram facebook darling all of them it's just simply velka and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future. I love you so much, Gemini. Bye.